In this video, we'll be exploring the order of operation. Now, some of the questions that we'll be answering include what does PEMDAS or BADMAS represent? And we'll also be looking at how to correctly apply the order of operation when solving questions, all right? Now, here we have the order of operations, commonly referred to as PEMDAS or BADMAS. Now, what does these um, abbreviations represent? So, this thing pretty much represents parentheses, brackets, exponents, orders, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, and the thing that, that is very important that many times we are not familiar with is that if we have two operations of the same precedence then you want to work those from left to right all right that's very important all right so parentheses bracket same thing exponents orders same thing all right multiplication division both these operations have the same precedence all right so if you have a multiplication and division in the same problem you want to work from left to right whichever ones come first Whichever one rather comes first, you'll work with that one first, all right? Same thing for subtraction, addition, both operations have the same precedence. So you treat those, you want to work those from left to right. Now here we have some questions, all right? And this question, I posted this question on the, the Facebook page for the channel. So if you guys haven't yet, um, follow that page you guys can go over there and check it out on facebook chris Matz academy so here we have six divided by two and in bracket we have two plus one and this was a viral math problem some years ago all right but um the, the debate is that for this one some persons got one for the answer while while some persons got nine all right so following the order of operations, we'll see which one of the results is the correct answer. All right. Now, according to the order of operation, so according to this thing, it tells us that we should um, carry out calculation in this order. All right. So we'll look at brackets first, then exponents orders. An exponent simply refers to stuff like indices, like x squared, x cubed, square root of x, stuff like that. All right, and we, we are familiar with multiplication and division already, subtraction, addition. All right, so we want to look and examine the order of operation. So here, we're starting from top, we're looking at the problem. So here we notice we have a bracket, all right? So we have to deal with the bracket first. So we are going to keep this six divided by two, all right? If we solve what's in the bracket, two plus one is three, all right? So when we, when we simplify that thing, that's what we get, all right? When we simplify the bracket. Now, let's look at what comes next. Now, what you'll know is that this thing, two with the three in bracket right here is the same thing as saying six, divided by two times three, all right? So this is the same thing as saying six divided by two times three. That's what the bracket represents, multiplication, all right? Now, remember this thing right here, all right? So remember the order of operation. So we, we, we deal with the brackets first. We have no exponents, so we don't have to worry about that one. So we're coming down now. Here we have multiplication and division, which we have both in this line right here. And according to this thing, if the operations are of the same precedence, then we want to work from left to right. All right. So we're starting from the left. So 6 divided by 2 would give us a 3 right here. And we still have the multiple by 3 over here all right so 3 times 3 that's 9 
all right so that's the end of the debate all right so the correct answer for this problem would have been nine let's look at example two all right so again we're looking at the order of operation so remember we're checking in this order coming down so we're looking if we have any brackets in the question yes we have a bracket so we're only going to keep these things for now start out the bracket first here we have 11 plus 8 and that gives us a 19 right here all right and we have minus 18 divided by 9 coming down just the same so coming down we're looking if we have any exponents or orders all right we don't have any of those looking now for multiplication and division of course we have those all right so and again we must follow the concept if we have so if the operations are of the same precedence then we start from left to right all right so we want to multiply this 5 times 2 first and that gives us a 10 right there plus 19 minus 18 now we can we can then deal with this division down here you could have done it in that line but i like to ensure that we are seeing all the steps all right so we can do the division part of it now so we have 10 plus 19 minus 18 divided by 9 will give us a 2 right there all right and now we're where we have the subtraction addition all right so that's the final one so we can add first so we start from left to right however when it comes to subtraction and addition it doesn't really matter which one you do first it doesn't really impact the answer so 10 plus 19 give us 29 minus 2 and that thing right there gives us 27 all right so that would have been the solution for this one all right now we can look at the other one so let's look at this problem right here so here we have 8 divided by negative 2 squared times 10 all right so again we're going to follow the order of operation so we have parentheses brackets exponent order all right and this thing right here pretty much meet the criteria of both so we're dealing with bracket and exponents at the same time all right so we can't divide as yet we have to get this sorted negative 2 squared is the same thing as positive 4 times 10 all right so 8 divided by negative 2 squared times 10 we start this part of it first so 8 divided by negative 2 squared would give us a positive 4 right here and we multiply that by the 10 out here all right now again we end up with a scenario where we have multiplication and division in the same line and again we want to do that both of them have the same president so we want to do that from left to right all right so 8 divided by 4 gives us a 2 all right so we, have, we end up with 2 times 10 2 times 10 is the same thing as 20 all right and that would be the solution for question 3 and now we have example 4 the final example and here we have negative 1 squared plus 4 times 6 divided by 3 all right and here we we're looking now following the order of operations we're looking for parentheses brackets in this case we have no no brackets or parentheses all right and so we're looking for exponent orders and we see one right here all right now negative and we have the one squared right here if you should put this thing in any calculator what you would get you would get a negative one all right and some persons might be wondering how can you get negative one right there some persons actually think um this thing is actually a positive one but the way how this is written the calculator will process this as let's see this is how the calculator would process this thing so it will process it as one times one all right so it's only going to square the positive one and then put the result beside the negative sign 
all right that's how the calculator will process it so if you want to square negative one it's best that you you put it in bracket first and then square it all right so that's the correct way to to write it so if you put it like that then the calculator will then give you negative one times negative one the result for that is one the result for this one is negative one all right so if you're wondering why every time you, you place negative one in this format squared in the calculator you always get a negative result then that's the reason why that always happens so if you place if we have something like this this will come out as negative one all right we have plus four times six divided by three all right now here again we have multiplication and division and again we have to treat with those working from left to right so we start with this thing so four times six give us 24 all right and we divide that result by three so we have negative one plus 24 divided by three would give us an eight right there negative one plus eight would give us a seven all right so if you are not comfortable with integers because this scenario is an integer scenario um, I'll be posting a video soon probably sometime next week to help you guys better understand that concept